Kate. <laughs> and I'm Cheryl. And together we are Fickle Stitches. Hello, everybody. Hi, Kate. Hi, Cheryl. Happy anniversary, Welcome. Kate. <laughs> oh, happy anniversary. Yes. We've been together now a year doing this. And which what's is the crazy pants. Crazy pants. And my uh, question is, what's the traditional gift for the first anniversary? Is it paper? Paper. I've got notes. Excellent. <laughs> I've got the copy of the uh, freebie pattern I have to send you later on today. <laughs> We've got the presents covered. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to all our new subscribers. Hi, everyone. Can't believe how you found us. Don't know. Only, on, only you know, the, I never thought they actually would shout us out ever, know, ever right? in a million years. What the heck were they thinking? Pam, <laughs> are you, what were you smoking? <laughs> Hi, Pam. Hi, Steph. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Hi, Steph. Thank you very much. Yeah, seriously. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it was not on our radar screen. And when I opened up their video and saw, and I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, just, I never knew. I just didn't know. So we're welcoming all of you all who have joined us. Um, thanks yes. to uh, finding us through uh, Pan and Steph at uh, Just Keep Stitching. Um, like they said, um, we um, cover a lot of different kinds of stitching, so we hope you find something you like um, and uh, hope you stick around. Uh, you picked a really good one to come watch because we are, this is our first anniversary. We started filming our floss tubes exactly a year ago today, which is... July 23rd <laughs> and um, so uh, we never thought that we would a ever do a floss tube and then B do it for a whole year because <laughs> we weren't sure yes. we didn't know if we would be able to do it we didn't know yeah. if we would enjoy it um, but uh, it's really f but we're still here so there you go um, What's really funny is that this past week I went back and looked at, at some of our first ones. <laughs> oh, you brave thing, you. <laughs> I haven't. And, and uh, my hair was way shorter. Um, <laughs> and um, what was the other thing that stuck out to me? Oh, just like all the issues we had with technology. <laughs> we, uh, oh, I'm not going to... I am not the technical person here. Pam got it right. It is all Cheryl. Um, <laughs> a cake guarantee was all me. me. <laughs> yes. But we um, got it figured out, hopefully, and um, we're still doing this. I still love doing this with you. And, um, I like doing it. Yeah, so we're still here. So welcome, 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 welcome. Um, one, one thing, mm -hmm. just when they were talking about us, um, we may have met virtually, but last year we went to StitchCon Weekend B and met in real life, which yeah. really was really what the impetus to going forward with trying to shoot a floss tube together. Absolutely. Yeah. Because we had talked about it a couple of times about we were both kind of flirting with the idea of starting a floss tube, but it was always on an individual thought. Yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. after um, Matt and I, NBC Stitcher, um, came and we met you in person and we hung out all weekend. Um, like, yeah, we hung out so much on Virtual Stitchers, the Zoom rooms. Um, we knew that we got along. But yeah, definitely meeting in person kind of put us over the hump about um, possibly doing one together. And I hadn't really entertained that thought until you brought it up. And um, so it took us a month or so to kind of work it all out. And that brings into another person into the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to talk about her? Yeah. <laughs> what was awesome about Pam and Steph um, calling out silver and gold, us the silver, was that EJ of Sunshine Stitchers, whom they called out as the gold floss tube on there, the, the segment, was integral 
yes. in helping us um, with, I know that you had picked her brain a lot about, you know, what you, you know, you had conversations with her about what it was like to run it and, you know, suggestions and things like that. So she was the only one that knew that we were going to do this, that were, was a, a stitchy friend. And yeah. so if you go and back to her secret and she <laughs> kept the secret seriously. And, um, <clears throat> which, you know, was pretty kind of fun. So the fact it was a nice little neat full circle moment that the week before our first anniversary, that Pam and Steph call us out as on this segment with Sunshine Stitchers, who, you know, directly and indirectly had a part in our beginnings. It was just kind of cool. And it was right before was. our first year anniversary. So the timing was really neat, too. So that's a long way around of saying the, thank you, EJ. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank EJ. You. And also, Shelia of Sunshine Stitchers, yes. because... Um, watching them interact and how they did things and things like that i know kind of like gave me ideas um mm -hmm. and you know i liked the way they had done certain things so it's like okay let me try it that way and see if it works so thank you to the both of them thank you to pam and steph for shouting us out and all the other people up to this point who shouted us out and supported us we really appreciate all of you um yes um and i know you've met some in person i've met a couple in person and so um everyone's support and encouragement and saying yeah we like what you do it's like oh okay cool because we're not necessarily doing this for um like influence or having a bunch of followers um it, our thought process was to make a video log of our stitching yeah. And if other people were entertained or wanted to see or wanted to interact with us about it, then all's the better. We just wanted to participate in the stitching community this way. And uh, so it's been, it's been kind of fun and revealing and just super interesting. And I just want to thank you for uh, being patient with me because <laughs> I can be a lot. <laughs> You're not a lot. Um, and thank you for doing the technology because I would still not be filming if and, it was up uh, to me. Thank my husband for upgrading my laptop. Because <laughs> the behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's made that's made a big difference. So anyway, so yeah. that that's just a hi, welcome, thank you, and here we go. Yes. Yes. Um, and just before we jump into finishes, I just want to say hang on it's going to be a long one I apologize it's been a month since we've actually filmed mm -hmm. we've got a lot to show you mm -hmm. uh we will make it worth your while though because we're going to have a giveaway Ooh. not quite but at the end not <laughs> quite <laughs> but we're going to make you wait a little bit <laughs> yeah we want to show you some stuff um all right and the only thing i also wanted to say uh was um while in this hiatus uh, in the middle of this, I had an opportunity to meet Candy, the 614 stitcher, last weekend. Um, she was in town along with um, some of the staff from... Um, Keepsakes. Keepsakes in Ohio. Ohio. They were down um, for a stitching retreat at the Silver Needle, which is here in Tulsa. And um, she reached out and said, hey, we're going to be here like for most of the week, can we meet up? And I said, sure. So I had a chance to go over to their Airbnb and meet up with her. And so she showed me the stuff that they received during the retreat and what she was working on. And we tried stitching for a little bit and it just, you know, it was just is what it is. We had way more fun yik yakking with each other. So hi, Candy. Um, it, was a, it was a real pleasure meeting you in person and um, holler whenever you're in town that's all i'm gonna say so there you go <laughs> meet your people meet your stitching friends whenever you know reach out and try because it's it's awesome so i uh, thoroughly enjoyed uh, meeting her and, and uh, talking to her so yeah so anyways little, all right so I'm let's go jealous. what's that okay uh cheryl do you have any finishes no <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean, didn't mean to snicker at you. 
no, 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 no. I just laugh. Yeah, I was just going to say, I just laugh because it's like, I, I, I appreciate you wanting to include me in the segment. <laughs> Okay, so this is Kate's segment. I had yes. it's been a month, and at the end of last floss tube, I had said something like, "I'm gonna get finishes if it kills me." Yeah, I have six six finishes. Yeah, she does. So let's start okay. right. Let's jump right into the stitching portion. Wait a second, I've been on vacation. I forgot how to do this. Ah. Three, two, one, and Kate. There we go. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is Cute Vikings from Tiny Modernist. It's stitched on just a 16-count light blue Ada. Uh, I started it last year, May something. Right there is great. Mm. And I just, I didn't write down where when I finished it. Uh, about a week and a half ago. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was like this past week. Was it this past week? Yes, because you were on virtual stitches and we were yelling at you to finish the red bars. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Okay. <laughs> Might have been the recent. night Pam and Steph shouted us out. Uh yeah, I actually I think it was. <laughs> yeah. All right. So really cute. I enjoyed it. That um boat is no joke. No, it's not. That sale was no joke. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this next one uh, is Ravenclaw House from the Stitchery by MJ. It's a full coverage and it's a page finish. And we're going to talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> Look at that. Because I, when I bought these patterns, I bought all the all four houses. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have a printer. I didn't know you could save PDFs somewhere. I would get them in my email and print them out at work. Gotcha. So I've been working on a paper copy of this thing. Mm. And on a whim, I reached out. I checked to see if she was still an Etsy seller, and she is. It's the Stitchery by MJ. These were not for sale anymore in her store. Mm -hmm. But I reached out to her and said, hey, is there any way I could get the PDF pattern for this one specifically, since this is the one I'm working on? Mm -hmm. And it took a couple days, which was fine. No big deal. And she sent them to me. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and I popped this puppy in Pattern Keeper and went to town. <laughs> yeah, you did. It, it's a little quirky in Pattern Keeper. The, it doesn't show the right color for the right symbol but it searches the symbols just fine and I'm good enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and I don't have to have that hard page break anymore. If you can see, I went over into the next page a little bit. Yes. So absolutely. It's worth reaching out to people just to see if they can help you. And thank you so much for that. Um, the Citri at MJ by MJ. Sorry. I believe her first name is Melissa. Uh -huh. Now, please tell the folks when do you stitch your full coverages for those of you who are not familiar with us. Uh, I, yeah, I've been bad this last month. Um, when I get up in the morning, it's the first first thing I do is put, put some stitches in on my full coverage. Um, mm -hmm. Just, you know, a little bit, you know, 100, 150. Yeah. And then I put it aside and go about some daily stuff and then Later in the day, I'll pull something else out to stitch. Right. Um, this next one is Full Moon Winter Night. I believe this is from Panochka Stitches. I can, uh, it's on a 16 count Twilight Fabric Flare. Nice. I love the horses. There. So this was started, this is one of my New Year's Eve 12 by 12 starts from last year. Right. And I finished it on uh, July 3rd. Nice. Just stitched with DMC, and there are beads in there. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, there are. <laughs> 64 of them. <laughs> Not that she was keeping track. Counting. Mm -mm. And, oh, and I should have. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So on Full Moon Winter Night, this last one, I stitched 1,332 stitches for the finish. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Ravenclaw, the page finish was 2,928. Mm-hmm. Cute Vikings was 3,755. Yeesh. Yeah. And Ravenclaw and Cute Vikings were two of the categories. I follow Sammy J. Stitches, and she has categories. Uh, those were category pieces. Ravenclaw was full coverage, and Cute Vikings was medium. <laughs> what? Nothing. Are you are you laughing the fact that I don't have a small? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't have a small project. Everything is medium or large. <laughs> this next one is the raccoon from Cottage Garden Samplings. I started it on 6-26-2022, and I finished it on 6-26-2023. There you it's go. It's on 16-count Velt. Um, there they are. Yes. Love stitching it. Love these. Uh, yeah. When I do good. put time into them, they really don't take. The raccoon needed one thousand five hundred and twenty-eight stitches to get to its finish, so nice. it just was sitting there looking at me. <laughs> judging. Judging. <laughs> it was definitely judging. Mm-hmm. Okay, this next one is Ossiary at Twilight. This is Whispered by the Wind, stitched on 16 Count Haunted by Picture This Plus. Started November 19th, 2021. Finished July 6th, 2023. There we go. That is such a good fabric for that one. Oh my gosh. It's the called for. It, it is the called for, and they are correct. It is a good fabric. Yep. And absolutely. I stitched. 4,249 stitches on this puppy. Mm. This was also a whip go for this month. Uh, my category was Halloween. And the goal was 500 stitches, but yeah, I blew past that. <laughs> goals. What are goals? I don't know. <laughs> All right, we either, next we one. I'm sorry. We either um, ignore them or blow right by them. <laughs> Yeah, in this channel. There's no in between. There's no in between. Uh, this next one is Mythical Creature Stitch Along by Pain Free Crafts. It's on 16 count run. This is the pattern that I that I divided into 12 pieces. What I had left, and so this is June's finish. I had to back stitch the W, which is the Wyvern. So there's yep. that. Yes. All right. I don't count my back stitching on these because it's I just can't on this. Impossible. <laughs> it's all quarter stitches. Impossible. Um, yes. yes. And we'll save that around because that's coming back out as a whip. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, that's it for my finishes, Cheryl. My goodness. Well done. I knew <laughs> I knew <laughs> when you stated that, I was like, um, over under five. <laughs> I knew you had you had a particular glint in your eye when you you said that in the last filming. I was like, oh yeah, she is motivated. So yeah, yeah, it was a lot. Like, I need I need to clear some crap. <laughs> Needs to go. <laughs> need to clear the crap. Yes. yes. Well, most excellent. Right. That's a lot of good finishes. All right. Mm. So Cheryl, have you had any starts? I have. I have. Even despite the fact that um, I was away for two weeks, and I didn't do a whole lot of stitching. Um, I was still able before and after the trip, I was still able, and even during, I started wondering, um, I was still able to get a number of starts. So let's go here. All right. So the first start was... Actually, before you do that, for all the new people, can you explain your 50 and 50 for 50? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. So we'll do this real quick. Um, in 2022, I turned 50 years old. 
Um, and um, when I hit 30 and when I hit 40, I had two major medical events right before those milestone birthdays. And so I was heading into 50 and, you know, like, I really don't want to have that happen. Um, but I would like to celebrate the fact that I made it to 50 because <laughs> there was a couple points where I might not have. <laughs> and so I decided that I wanted to, I got inspired by Jen Lee of Quirks and Stitches who do a massive start along, start a thon um, for her 40th birthday. And I wasn't quite prepared to do it to the magnitude that she did. But what I wanted to do was, I have a really extensive stash. Kate and I have both been um, stitching for a long, 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 long time. And our stashes are deep and wide. And I had a number of patterns that I've been holding on to that I've always wanted to do. So my thought process was to pick 50 of them and start one a week from my birthday in October of 2022 to my birthday in October 2023. So one a week. So that's where the 50 for 50 came in. And then I was like, but I love Christmas. I'm like, who, who loves Christmas as much as I do? Um, Memphis uh, Sarah E. Memphis Sarah E. And I are kindred spirits <laughs> on that one. Um, and so I love Christmas as well. And so I have a whole bunch of ornaments and Christmas related things that I wanted to stitch especially um, the Hometown Holiday Series by Little House Needleworks. It's a series of, like it's basically a Christmas village, each house, each building. And they're up to like 23 or 24. And so I thought, well, it would be kind of fun to start those in this as a small. So then my brain went, okay, so I'm gonna have 50 bigs, 50 bigs, and then 50 smalls. Um, I'm behind on the smalls enough to think that mm, if I don't get all 50 of those started, but I want to make sure I at least start all of the hometown holidays because I want to stitch them and finish them in a way so that they can be arranged in a village, like a village. So anyways, so then the hashtag for this became 50 and 50 for my 50th birthday. So 50 and 50 for 50. So that is why we laugh when we talk about finishes because all I am doing right now is starting, starting, starting. <laughs> I have however finished one of them because it was for a Christmas gift and I was highly motivated. But <laughs> ever since then, uh, none of these have turned into a finishes. So with all of that being said, um, let me see, let me get these there we go okay so the first one in this this last month that i started is summer gingham by twisted threads now i'm bringing this really close so you can see so this is a series that they did all in this particular gingham fabric the squares that you see in the grid are 12 by 12 just to mess with you a little bit um but this is the summer one. Um, I have a whole bunch of these to do. And at, because I love autumn and Christmas so much, I chose not to do those and went with summer <laughs> to prove that I have some summer, summer stuff in my stash. Because some people wonder. So anyways, so this is it. Um, the lettering that you see is all done over one. And actually, all of the, everything is done over one. So this is 28 count, and I'm pretty sure it's the um, linen that they called for, because I bought it so long ago that I lost the t tag off it. I'm assuming it's the same stuff. It is Riviera Gingham, and this is how far I was able to get. I'm bringing up really close. It looks good. Yeah. it's. Um, a little tricky because it's 12 by 12, so you, you know, um, but the, it's charted so well, it's easy to keep track. Um, and I was able to get pretty much all of the um, letters on the right half of the pattern done. So yeah, so um, I'm using the call for colors and 
um, the DMC. I switched out. I didn't have the dark chocolate, so I j I'm just using the DMC equivalent, which is 3371, the nice dark chocolate. So yeah, so I got a nice chunk on that. All of these letters together, this is um, just shy of 300 stitches. Over one on 28 count. There you go. Teeny weedy, <sighs> itty weedy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that was a good one. Okay, and then while I was on my vacation, I love my parents, but the lighting in their house stinks. <laughs> and I didn't, uh, uh, I didn't have a whole lot of room in the luggage that we took to be able to take um, my portable light slash magnifying glass. So I had to make do with a Mill Hill kit if there was chance that I could stitch because we had a lot of things planned that we were going to do. But I was able to start this, which is good. Um, this one is from the Painted Pumpkins series, and this is Sunflower Pumpkin. It's pretty. Again, a summery one. Is it? It is. Because sunflowers okay. grow in the summer. I just think pumpkins and I think fall. Okay, fine. That face. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is a Mill Hill kit, so I'm just using all the stuff in the kit, including stitching it on perforated paper. Um, and this is as far as I was able. Oh, okay, where's, sorry. Where's a good, yeah, I'll use this. There we go. There. So I was able to get, I like to try to get all the, um, the stitches done before I add the beads. So I was able to good, get a good chuck done both home and then when I uh, got back here, I finished it off so that I had um, two hours. Uh, this is just a, uh, like 215 stitches or something like that. So very cute. I am enjoying it. So there you go. So yes, I did stitch while I was away and humor me for a second. One of the other things I did start while I was there was a rug hooking kit because my mother has gotten into rug hooking and I had some lessons and then I thought, well, that would be a good one to do while I was home. And so just humor me for a second. This is as far as I got. So proud of myself. Yay. There you go. Rug hooking. Christmas. Shocker. <laughs> Shocker. So anyways, thank you for humoring me on that. All right. Mm -hmm. Not that you had much of a choice, Kate. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest with that. Um, I'll own that. Okay. So then the next starts in my rotation were supposed to be while I was gone. Um, just before the July 1st slash July 4th weekend. Um, and um, those of you who are not familiar with me, I am a dual citizen. I was born in Canada. I moved here to the States to marry my husband. And I don't stitch a ton of patriotic stuff or like um, country specific, you know, stuff like that. Um, if I do, it's not like, um, it's a little more abstract than, um, yeah, I don't know how else to say it. Um, so what I thought, but it, I thought it would be nice to kind of acknowledge the Can-Am presence in our house. And I wanted to start as a result, um, two ink circles patterns. So the first one I started was Reflections of Canada by Ink Circles. And um, so I liked this because it reflects aspects of Canada without coming out and saying Canada. So maple leaves and hockey sticks and anook shooks. And I think there's a beaver in there. And the CN Tower. And um, Parliament buildings, all, all sorts of good stuff in here. So, yeah, so what I did was I 
took a piece of um, fabric that I won recently in Bee Stitch Me's Friday Night Fight Nights. So there's no name associated to this one, um, but this is as far as I got so far. It's still on the Q snap because it's still an active start. I still have to put some more time and stitches in it. Um, I'm using, like I said, 40 count um, Verdal by Bee Stitch Me. So it's one strand over two. And I'm using a silk from the company called Planet Earth Fiber. And the name of it is Fury. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> that's a great name. So that's the color I'm using on that. So then as a companion piece, um, for Jerry's side of the equation, I picked Ink Circles Flag Day. So you have the eagles and the flags, and all that kind of, and the stars. So um, to kind of match them together, I used the same piece of fabric from Bee Stitch Me, 40 count Verdal, whoops. And it's on my nerge, so that means I'm still working on it. And I got the eagle head started. And I am using um, silk from the same company, Fiber Earth, oh sorry, Planet Earth Fiber. And the name of this color blue is Pond. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I'm very fortunate. I live uh, in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, and I'm very fortunate that there's a couple of really great um, needlework centric stores um, and knitting stores. And so for the silks, I went to um, a store called Stitches. They um, specialize in needle point, but they have a wide variety of fibers and threads outside of what you typically see in a cross stitch store. And so I went there and I wanted to get um, a red and a blue from the same company that kind of matched and I knew would look good on a vintagey colored fabric together. So there you go. So those are those two starts. So Canada and the US. So there you go. Thus endeth the patriotic portion of our program. <laughs> Um, and then the last start that I got, I started actually yesterday, was a roof. It's not a Cheryl start section without at least one roof. <laughs> I was doing so well. <laughs> so yesterday I started number 16 in Hometown Holidays series, The Coffee Shop. And I'm stitching all of these on 40 count lamb's wool linen. I'm using all the called for threads that they call for in the series um, so that they're all kind of the same. And so I was able to put in the two hours for a start. And I was able to get whoops there we go half of the roof the right hand of the roof finished completed fully completed yay yay so this is 40 count lambswell linen one over two so there you go huh so that is it as far as my starts this go round is there you go so now I'm gonna switch over to you because I do believe you started one. I had no intentions of starting anything <laughs> because I was on a finish kick. And then uh, Vic, Vicki Gable, a stitch and button, sent me some stitchy kindness that she had gotten and had shown on virtual stitchers. And I absolutely flipped out about this pattern and tried to find it, couldn't find it. You can find it. Like there's like one shop I think that can sell it. Mm -hmm. But 
I just was like, oh, I'll just wait till it comes out. But this is from Joan Elliott, and this is Celestial Symphony. Yes. So there's just three colors in here. There's, well, this they called for black and then two crinics. I went with 939 and two silk lame braids. Nice. And this is my start. Ooh. Uh, this is on 16 count love bug by Fortnite Fabrics. And 405 stitches. So it still needs 595 to get to its thousand. Gotcha. So I nice. like it. I just didn't feel like stitching with Krynek, which is why I went with the silk lame braid. Fair. <laughs> fair. Very <All> fair. Right. <laughs> Do you have any whips? I have two. So go ahead. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to keep on seven. going. Okay. Seven. I, okay. <laughs> All right. It's Cheryl's turn again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me just grab this and then I'll switch it back to me. There we go. Okay. So with whips, um, when we ended off last filming, I had just started the shores of Hakron Hollow. And basically, um, in the time for a start, um, I was able to get three sides of a square done and, um, I had to finish the square. So, um, before I put it away. So this is, uh Oh, oh yeah, this way. Okay. Whew. It's like, how did you do this? Okay. So there it is. Yay. Oh, that's so beachy. So ocean. I can see that. Yes, there you go. I'm just picking on you. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so there you go. Got the square finished. So yay me. <laughs> so now I can put this away. Um, for reference, um, the fabric is 40 count milk and honey by Fiber on a Whim. And I'm doing it not one over one, one over two threads. So and I'm using the MPI silks that are called for in this particular project. So there you go. So that was whip number one. And then any other whip time that I had this go around. Oh yeah, sure the hawk run hunnel. That's what I got that. There you go. Iconic. All right. So any other whip time I spent on my temperature quilt by Stitch and Mummy. I am doing uh, the version on the lighter background. Um, I am charting temperatures from my birthday in October 2022 to October 2023. And um, this is made up of um, two squares. Now, um, initially it's the um, high and low of the day for wherever you are. I chose to separate it so that um, the triangle on top is um, the temperature from where I was born and grew up, oh, where I grew up, not where I was born, where I grew up in Nova Scotia, Canada. And then the bottom square or the triangle, I should say, is for Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. So I just thought it would be a fun way to um, kind of track this part of it so anyways so I got quite a bit done which makes me happy because I put in almost a thousand stitches let me get this there we go all right so let me see if I can get back far enough do -ba -do, -ba -do. Do -ba -do, ba do ah there we go okay so you can see it in its totality you can see that this partial column here is where is October. So there's my birthday and then the rest of the month. Okay. And so I primarily in the last little bit worked here, got this one full filled and started down here 
and then got all the columns, as you can see, all the way down here so that I can fill in this. So this column here is June, and this one is July, August, September, October, okay? So I don't have very many months left. Um, but what I've been doing is trying to fill in everything down here before I started back up in June and July. So I got quite a bit done. And I like, the, did. I like the color contrast. And you can tell we are now hitting summer in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let me just tell you, um, basically the way it's been in July, all of this, it's going to be red and orange. <laughs> uh, we've been, yeah, it's angry quilt. It is. Yeah. It, the center of it is going to be angry for sure. Yeah. What's been interesting is that as you can see, like the, right here, right here, right here right here there's a number of squares where it's the same color so that you know um they have been within the same color range of temperatures which has been i didn't expect to have that much um i know there are days where it's warmer in nova scotia than it is in oklahoma but it usually happens in um fall and some winter but we are now getting into the portion of the the year where Oklahoma is easily 10, 15, 20 degrees higher Fahrenheit um, than Nova Scotia. <laughs> like it does not hit 100 degrees in Nova Scotia. But um, yeah, so that's where you're going to see the mo the most disparity. But yeah, there's been more full squares of the same color than I expected. So it's been very interesting. So, anyways. So, um, yeah, this has been a fun project. Um, it's one of those um, that it's, I call it, um, when I've had a rough day, it's just one of those ones that I don't have to, it's not a thinking piece. I can just stitch triangles. I can just stitch beige. So it's been a good one. So there you go. So those are my whips. Okay. For today. Ooh, there we go. All right. I'm excited okay. to see this. <laughs> Are you now? I am. All right. Moving back to Mythical Creatures, I was had to stitch July's letter, and it is X. And I put 1,171 stitches in. It's this four-winged flying monkey-like thing. Nice. It's like X-H-A-O or something is what like it's Chow? called. It's in Chinese mythology. Mm, okay. The, the name isn't on there yet because the back stitching is not on there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be August's fun. <laughs> fun times. And then there's just two more letters. Yes. People, uh. we need to... Yeah, I know. <laughs> we are so excited about this. In Fickle Stitches, we, we can't explain it. <laughs> I'm going to throw a party when that thing gets done. Uh, yes. And Do you believe there's going to be a my parade? struggle bus piece. Oh, the reason why. Don't stitch it on Ada. It's all quarter stitches and three quarter stitches, and the back stitching is like from this quarter stitch to that quarter stitch and oh, not 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 designed for Ada. No, absolutely not. <laughs> At this point I'm just gutting it out. <laughs> yeah, you are. But it's almost done. Super it excited. It is almost done. All right. Uh Wonders of the Night Sky. Yet again another struggle bus piece for me. Uh, this is on climbing this is by climbing goat designs and it's stitched on 16 count black Ada. Mm. And this was a category piece, uh, and the category was pattern release in 2022 or 2023. This came out in January of 2022. Mm -hmm. The sale's over. <laughs> I put 400 stitches in, 409 stitches in on this thing. One, it really pops on that black fabric, and two... 
The TARDIS is spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else are you going to put on for a Wonders of the Night Sky? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, it looks so, good. It fills in with all the constellations and the Milky Way and stars. and mm-hmm. But I've just been working back on the border over here. Mm-hmm. Um, that Celtic knot. And I found border. the other side, and I yeah. trimmed fabric off, and I bought a light box to put underneath it. Hey. You gotta we do all do what we do. have to do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That, I, was, I really do like it when it's stitched. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's you just, just got to stitch it. <laughs> I was just going to say to you, the Celtic knot in the corners of the border are no joke. They're fine. They're not that no. hard. No, they're, but if they're, they, the effect of them is no joke. They're really pretty. Oh, they're, they're really pretty. Yeah. Um, and underneath those circles, there's a key. They actually put the key in to, you know, the star brightness is, mm. it, it's all based on their, I don't know what they're called. They're like a specialty stitch, but they're, there's like the bigger version and then it gets smaller, smaller, smaller. Okay. I don't know what it's called. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, the next one I've worked this, so well, these are in no particular order. Uh, okay. So this is Moonlight Sampler from the Blue Flower. This is on 16 Count Storm by Picture This Plus. And this was uh, Category Flora and Fauna. And I had not stitched on this this year, so it needs its thousand stitches. Mm-hmm. And I put 1,153 in. That looks so good on that fabric. Okay, the fabric is way more blue than the purple it's showing. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, it nope, is totally the color. It is totally picking up the purple tones in that fabric. Yeah. No, it's blue. That's, That's really nice. blue. That's nice. Eh. Yeah. Anyway, I put that owl in and had to laugh. I'm like, here I am stitching another owl. <laughs> <laughs> But I'd like to get this one to the point where I can trim the fabric. <laughs> right. But I'm a little superstitious, and not until I hit the bottom will I trim that fabric. <laughs> right. Because while I know I can math, I don't want to put it to the test. <laughs> okay, I pulled this out because I was getting behind on it. This is the Treasure Island Stitch Along. It's free from Owl Forest Embroidery. I did get the threads. And mm-hmm. I'm finally, I'm not taking it off the Nerge, but I can mm-hmm. do this. Um, all right, so. Oh yeah, you get a good idea. Jim was one. Yes. Part. This guy was the other. Yes. Those were two parts. And then I'm putting in this guy here and then there'll be an, uh, another guy over here or gotcha. the most recent part and then I will be caught up nice not too so, far then not too far nice. and this is on 16 count sand dollar from Be Stitch Me ooh that one's I like it. I love sand yeah. dollar comfort stitching owl forest is some comfort stitching for me Yes, that's a good way. That is a good way of describing it. Yeah, it just makes me happy. Yeah. And I put 2,325 stitches in that thing. Goodness. Yeah. All right. So, Orca is next. Mm -hmm. This is a Carolyn Manning design, just stitched on 16 count easy guide. Mm -hmm. Um, I've stitched 1,257 stitches. Um, The category, I'm using this for category. This is my fighter whip that I have chosen because I didn't feel like trying to get a lot of stitches in my my oldest whip. Mm -hmm. So you're allowed to pick something that you can sub in. Mm -hmm. So there I go. I've got like 13 diamonds left on that page to go. 
and then I can start filling in. So love it. Carolyn Manning also comfort stitching. Very nice. Absolutely. Very mindless. Very, and it's gorgeous. I'm not saying this. I don't want to say that it's a simple pattern. I just want to say that it relaxes me because mm -hmm. the geometric just, it just relaxes me. Yep. It's how I feel about temperature quilt. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this next one was a whip go. Um, my friends got to pick which one I did. I gave them three choices and they picked this one and I have stitched 1,117 stitches on mother of the ocean from the primitive hair. This was another um, New Year's Eve start. Nice. And it is on 16 count sampler gold from Color and Cotton. Mm -hmm. And I skipped one because I left her out of the rotation. All right. So I did, since I had Ravenclaw had a page finish, that means I move on to a different, different full coverage. This right. is my oldest whip, but um, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit on it. Um, this is Rhiannon mm. um, artwork by Jessica Galbraith, uh, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. It's out of print. I'm doing this thing on paper, though I managed to take some photos and get them uploaded into Pattern Keeper. They're not searchable, but you can make them small and bigger and zoom in. Nice. So, so you're 271 in. stitches so far. Nice. So this page gets me hair and pretty sure that's the first eye right there. Mm, and yeah. then the second eye will come in over. Okay. So I'll get two eyes and hair. And, you know, top of the nose. <laughs> right. Nice. So. And just been struggling a bit in the mornings to, to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so those are all my whips. I did not total how much I stitched since the last time we filmed. I was going to ask I you did. that question. <laughs> but I did total something else where is it okay brace yourselves people <laughs> I don't know what I did with it uh, I don't think I wrote it down in the floss tube book um mm. Hold, please. We're so, so prepared, people. This is our norm, so. <laughs> yeah. Is this your total as up to the end of June? Yeah. Oh my. Definitely brace yourselves, people. <laughs> Did you find it? I didn't I write, I know you told chat. me. Oh, oh. I could have sworn you Actually, okay, me. I'm gonna, gonna go on a wimp. I'm pretty sure it is 100,000, 130,000 and 30 stitches. Goodness, Lord, have mercy. For six months. Yeah. For the first six months. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm scrolling back just in. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle no, of the conversation where we found out that um, Pam yeah. and Steph called us out. <laughs> Yes, there were some four-letter expletives in that conversation. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, 1, 000, oh, I found it. Okay. 130,040 stitches. I was 10 stitches off. 
<laughs> That's it. You're fired. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I want to. Uh, least productive month was February. Most productive month was May. Least productive. That was interesting. That is very interesting. Anyway, I saw somebody had done it for their channel, and I was like, oh, gee, I wonder how much I have. And then I did it by month, and I was like, holy crap. Okay. May <laughs> May was the month where you were sick for like a week and a half, two weeks, and didn't stitch much. That was February. Uh, I could have swore there was a couple days in May you didn't stitch at all. Really? Mm. But Doesn't May was matter. Most productive. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Crazy pants. Anyway. anyway, stitching keeps me sane, people. You don't want to see me if I can't stitch. <laughs> Indeed. Um, warning. Is that <laughs> is that are you surprised by that total? Um, yes and no. I, there was one year I kept really good tabs when I was in what, magical stitches mm -hmm. and we were doing Percy Jackson was the theme of the year. And I just built all the crap in the ca the camp we had to build. And it just, mm -hmm. they were like, this is the first level. This is the second level. This is the third level. And I just kept doing And I was like over 225000 by the end of the year. Mm, okay. So wow. I figured it was around 100000 Yeah. Especially since I, you know, have done it a couple times for the month and been like, Oh, I stitched 22,000 this month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Meanwhile, Cheryl only... Yeah, Cheryl. Cheryl enjoys the totals. <laughs> this is not a competition, folks. I could never, no. ever keep up with Kate. Um, uh, it's just, I am so... I'm always just really impressed with how much um, you are able... You. I was explaining it to someone who asked me. I think it was Candy and I were having this discussion. And I was like, um, she's like, I'm always surprised at how, how much you you stitch. And I said, uh, I've come to realize that when Kate stitches, she doesn't get distracted very easily. And um, unlike I, who can get on my phone and start scrolling, you just like when you're stitching, you're stitching. And so I, I think that does make a big difference. I can be distracted if we're chatting and somebody's like, oh, have you seen this new pattern? Boom, off I go. <laughs> On the yeah. phone. Let me find the pattern. But, but, um, you, but you don't stay there. <laughs> no, I don't. I, that's, I'm stitching. That's my problem. Yeah, you're stitching. So I think it makes a, a big, big difference. And you stitch pretty much every day unless you're sick. I stitch every day, yeah. Yeah. So I think that makes a difference too, for sure. So. Anyways, congratulations. That's awesome. Good job, lady. So when my arms fall off because I've stitched too much, <laughs> there's going to be a problem. Yes, there is. <laughs> Most of much is. <laughs> okay. So I think we have I think now... we're at the giveaway. I think so. All I think right. so. So let me get prepared to do that. Let me just grab this up. Okay. All right. Um, be over 18. Mm -hmm. Don't say the words. Giveaway, free, all that, that stuff that brings please. the nasty people. That's um, absolutely right. Uh, you don't have to make a sentence. Yeah, don't make a sentence. <laughs> it's uh, okay. We're not that picky. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Oh, and B, we will ship to the USA or Canada. Yeah. Yeah. We will ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the two, unfortunately, yes. for our overseas friends. Sorry. So do you want to go first yeah. with what you have? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give away the raccoon. Yay. From Cottage Garden Samplings. And keyword is raccoon. Absolutely. <laughs> And my second one is Ossiaria Twilight. Yes. 
And the keyword's going to be Twilight. Oh, I'm thank you. Make people try to spell that. <laughs> <laughs> You're so wise, Kate. <laughs> Because I'm older than you. <laughs> Absolutely. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Okay. And I have two things as well. Um, the first thing I have is um, it's called the Country Sampler Spring Gardener Sewing Roll. <laughs> Let's say that five times fast. By Stacy Nash Primitives. So um, it's a pattern for you to make like a um a design that well you can roll up and uh, or fold up because you can see that there's whoops there uh, oh i can floss too there we go there's the button right there <laughs> in the buttonhole it comes with the fabric it comes with the floss and um very full instructions and how to construct it and whatever so I thought that would be a fun one. So I was thinking um, for this one, the uh, keyword will be um, gardener. Yeah, there you go, I guess. You're looking at me Gardner's like- Gardener's good. Okay. Gardener's good. <laughs> <laughs> you could have gone roll and made it really easy. For, okay, for... I take it back. You're absolutely right. We're going to do roll. <laughs> roll. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> You're totally. <laughs> I don't know why my, like, I was literally looking at this and it didn't go, like, my brain did not go to the last word <laughs> until you said it. <laughs> uh, anyways. Keep it, keep it simple. Keep it keep simple, it simple people. There you go. So if you're interested in this uh, kit, and as you can see, it's got, it even has the button. There you go. Um, if you're interested in this, use the keyword roll. And the last I have, I've been going through, um, slowly going through some of my stash, and um, I have some fabric available. Now, here's the problem. Not 100% sure of the counts. <laughs> um, I'm offering it all together. Um, first is a roll of like a um, antique red. This is what I do know. I know this is is um, linen. Pretty positive it's Weeks Dye Works. Not 100% sure. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's 32 count. There's helpful for you. So, and it's a pretty big, it's like, I think it's like at least a fat, I think it's probably a fat quarter. Um, it looks like a fat quarter. Yeah. Okay. So I, uh, I am doing this as well as um, I'm also pretty positive that this is um, 12 cuts. Let me count. Sorry. This tells you how prepared I was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 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 uh. Um, it's... <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Can you tell it's hot? Okay, so it's 12 cuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so professional people. We are. Okay. Okay, so it's... Tw I, here's... Okay, it's 12 pieces. I think it's... I think because um, they were, I cut this for, um, oh, it's the chalkboard, like the chalkboard um, series that came out where it's um, one for every month of the year, like. Um, I've had a couple now. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the first ones. Oh shoot, this is gonna bug me. Anyways. That doesn't matter. You're giving away the fabric. You're not yeah. giving away the so, chalk. I'm pretty sure that this is Gunmetal by Weeks Dye Works. Pretty sure, not 100% sure. And um, it, it looks to be probably 32 counts. So you're getting a nice big chunk. So I'm offering this together as a giveaway. Okay, so if you like linen and um, you would like this, just use the keyword linen. 
and you'll get the linen prize pack. There you go. <laughs> yes. Very nicely done. Okay, thanks. So, so um, yeah, so uh, we will keep things open for you to comment on until the Friday night before our next filming, which will be... And Kate's looking for me. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> August 4th. August 4th. So you have until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, August 4th. Is that right? Sure. Because honestly, I'm not going to pull winners until the, the next morning. So... <laughs> Okay. All right. So let me. All right. No, that was not helpful. Give them a time limit. Give them a time limit. It's okay. Fine. All right. Now I'm. Now I'm second guessing myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. So today. Uh, do, 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 August fourth. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll say 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, August fourth. Yes. And then Kate will draw. Um, we do a little spinny spin wheel and, um, and that's how we figure out who wins. So if you're interested, just throw those keywords in the comments and, um, good luck if you're interested in any of these things. So okay. let me write that down. 10 P M E S T August 4th. Got it. Got it. All right. So All raccoon right. twilight roll linen linen are your words i will have them in the um comment section information section box. yeah the description box below okay? okay so there you go all right all right there's that let me move that out of the way we are we have a small amount of haul just not Petite. not a ton not Petite. a ton no yes Okay. But that requires theme music. Theme music. So if you're new to us, um, I like to make up songs. <laughs> um, for those of you who are familiar with us, this is part two of um, the song that was brought out in our last video, not the one about the kits, but the one before that. Okay, so here we go. No dying on Zoom. <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> okay, so for part two, there's a verse and a bridge. Oh, on Friday, all my stitching haul was far away, but now UPS has come my way. Oh, Wegman's bag is full today. How it got so full, I can't really say. Charts can't travel alone. It is just the way. Wegman's bag of acquisitions. There you go. And scene. <laughs> I can hear unsubscribe, unsubscribe. unsubscribe. <laughs> or We're just having fun, people. <laughs> or poetic genius, creative genius, creative genius. We're something. We're something. <laughs> Okay, are you going first or am I? Um, I'm just going to whip through mine. Okie dokie. All right, there was um, another stitchy kindness from Vic that came with, uh, she was doing some de-stashing. And this is, give. this is called Pranks by Monster Bubbles. And it is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> that's great. So, uh, looks like it's done in Weeks Dye Works, and I'll probably convert it because 
It is not that big, and I do not need that much. <laughs> right. Do not need the uh, hand dyed effect. Yeah. All right. So, uh, stash unloading got me with a chart. Mm. This is Campfire at Pine Lake by Great Big Graphs. Ooh, I like that one. <sighs> not a ton of stitching, and they're big graphs. Because the fabric ones. makes a lot of these. Y'all know they're big. Well, that's they're what they big. say. big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going by the title. Great big grass. Yeah. So, but the black is not stitched, so it um, shows. Oh, okay. So the black, you do it on black fabric. So yeah. Black is not okay. stitched. So, but the blue of the night sky is stitched. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay. That so that was a stash of load. Mm -hmm. If you watched our kit parade, my reaction when I had the fabric and floss for something, but not the pattern, <laughs> cracked me up. So I ordered from Sammy the pattern I needed there at you go. Sammy at Humming Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. Yes. So this is uh, Ink Circles Elemental Dragon's Fire. Which I will tuck right in that bag. <laughs> Absolutely. With the rest of it's bad boy. Okay. And fabric of the month, really quick. I don't think I'm going to take it out. Uh, this is from Fox and Rabbit, 16 count. It's kryptonite. It's green. It's a good green. Yes, it is. And then Atomic Ranch was Ocean Sand. So it's this Ooh. really pale blue with a little bit of brown in it. Nice. So it's nice. And... Oop, that was a second. Oh, no, that's a gift for somebody else. All right. Uh, I ordered from one, two, three, stitch. I've got some fiber on a whim, 16 count. Oh, I wish I had done that on this. Night sky. Ooh. It's so pretty. Yes, it is. So pretty. But it's good fabric. And I also ordered... 16 count fat quarter gothic from picture this plus mm. Ooh. Ooh. pretty 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 actually i went for the gothic and then i'm like i can't just buy one piece of fabric. Oh, of course not <laughs> it'll get lonely in the bag <laughs> i need someone to talk to Absolutely. Right. That's why I sing right. about it in my song. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little sloth. That's cute. All right. I was once again seduced to the dark side. Uh, Stitch and Button had some new bags, and I couldn't help myself. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. I saw yesterday... Um, it's so cute. On uh, Sunshine Stitches, EJ showing hers, and I'm like, oh, dear Lord. <laughs> We've got a little sloth charm. Yeah, we do. You can't see, but it's there. And then I had also ordered something else a while ago, and I, she just waited to ship it with everything. This mm -hmm. is a needle puller. Oh, yeah. So when you can't quite get your fingers, fat, my fat fingers, yeah, around yeah. the needle to try to pull it through when you're, like, ending it, you can slide this little plastic part over it, yeah. and it gives you more traction. You just It just gives you more traction. Gotcha. So I've never used one, but I wanted to try it. Absolutely. And then <sighs> Vicky's a silly person <laughs> and sent me a Yoda head. Yeah, she did. Baby Yoda. Which I think 
goes on a pencil. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're interested in, in uh, Vicky Stitch and Button stuff, she has a Facebook group. That's where she primarily sells her stuff is through that. So you just have to look for Stitch and Button. And then... Ooh, and um, Got a Halloween box that's still available. Yeah, um, yeah. You prepay. There's like half down deposit and then half at the end of September. Um, yeah. Reasonably priced. Um, you got the Christmas box last year and really liked it. I did because one of the main things in it is she makes a project bag, so you yeah. automatically get the project bag and then some little goodies um, and other things that she makes. And um, I was very, I was pleased with it. So um, I'm not a huge Halloween stitcher, but I will do that. And I thought, hey, I wouldn't be mad to um, buy her Halloween box this year. So yeah, definitely uh, go check that out. Okay, just gonna laugh here. I was thinking, oh, I wonder if this is a small. No, no, it's not. It's 132 by 270 something. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. <laughs> You're so close. So close to a being a small. So close. I don't know what they are. I don't. I know. They're, they're like unicorns. Ah. <laughs> uh... A Christmas ornament right. is a small. So that's my haul. What what is your haul? <laughs> okay. Um, I just have two things. Um, I did not buy any stitching things while I was on vacation. Shocker. Um, because I was too busy buying yarn. <laughs> yarn and um, um, I bought another rug hooking kit. Shocker. Okay. However, I did uh, get some stuff in the mail while I was gone, so that was nice. Um, I get um, the Fabric of the Month by Be Stitch Me. I get it in 40 Count Verdal. And so this month was Summer Sunrise. Oh. Which is very interesting. It's very uh, coral. It's very pretty. Now... If anyone knows me, they know that I don't stitch a lot of things that would go on coral. However, I will try to find something. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Um, so it'll be interesting to find something. I see a pretty lady on that, a Bella Filipina mermaid or something. Mm -hmm. You don't stitch those, I know. but <laughs> I don't stitch a ton of those, but you're right. That would be something like a mermaid, one that has a really nice like a contrast, contrast to Ooh, this. What about Ink Circles, five o'clock? It's five o'clock somewhere, all those tropical drinks on there. That's true. Yeah, just Maybe. throwing ideas. Tropical idea, yeah. I would have to find something that would go along with it, but um, mm -hmm. I deliver, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get out of the neutrals box. And so this one is definitely not neutral. So I gotta see, okay, how am I going to use this? This is going to be fun. So challenge accepted. So there's that. And then the other thing that came in the mail while I was gone was um, I get um, some stitchy boxes periodically. And um, I received the spring seasonal one. I'm going to switch over this way, Kate. There we go. All right. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's me. <laughs> oh, no. I clicked too okay. quick. Um, so I got the spring one. And I'm not going to show you everything that's in the box. It's a mixture of beads and silks and some fabric and one or two patterns and like little zhuzh. And uh, you can either open it up all at once or spread it over, like open one a day for like a month. So um, I usually, ex I do, the advent one I try to do one a day but um when it comes to the big boxes i like to open them all at once so anyways so just some of the highlights i wanted to show you the threads for this one so these are the um cotton threads that came in this box so there's a couple gassed and then a 
cottage garden. I love the butter bean. It is a really, really um, pretty, almost like a wheat, yes. wheat yellow. Mm -hmm. And then there was a bunch of silks. I have uh, vastly increased my silk collection by doing stitchy boxes. So these are the silks that came with the box. Some of these I would not have automatically said, hey, those are spring colors. <laughs> However, so there's a mixture of um, dinky dyes. In this one, there's a mixture of dinky dyes and um, stitchy silk and flower silk. And the last two are lines that are on stitchy box. So, so it's an interesting, an interesting mix of colors. But there's a lot of them so there you go so nice um stash enhancement um the fabric this month is a pale i hope you can see it uh no not really where can i let me see if it shows up on this uh, it's a pale purple it, you really can't tell you really can't tell back there yeah all right yeah it, we'll take your it, word yeah it's a pale purple by um fiber on a whim it's 36 count linen and i'm trying to read i think it's called kinsey i can't really read um i am sorry stitchy box lady but i can't read your writing on that one i'll have to look at it but yeah it's a it's a really pretty it's a typical pastel um, pale purple and it's really pretty and then the last thing I'm just going to highlight out of this box uh, one of the patterns um, was from Darling and Whimsy the quirky Quaker snail I just thought that Aww. was cute cute yeah there you go so yeah like I said there's some other stuff in here but I won't take up because for the sake of time I won't go through every single thing in the box um, yeah there's usually some finishing stuff and all sorts of things some of it I use and some of it I don't um, so you know as with any box you just don't always know if you're going to use everything you get but anyways so there you go so that is my stitchy acquisitions okay okay uh, plans <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Want to... I think I'll go while Cheryl's dying. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, so I'm going to continue to stitch on Treasure Island. I'm going to catch that up. Um, I'm going to try to get Wonders of the Night Sky caught up to its thousand before the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Those are like my two big goals. Um, I finished Whipgo for the month. I still haven't done... There's still one left from Whipgo of June. Um, I may okay. get that done. I may not. We'll mm -hmm. see. And then August is going to be arbitrary August for me. Um, I have put my wheel together. It is every project on it that needs still needs stitches. So my goal stitches is to for touch the year? all for the year. Is okay, to sorry. Puts touch all my projects for the year. Mm -hmm. Now most of them have a thousand stitch limit. That's what I, my goal was. Mm -hmm. But the first. 10 first nine projects on my whip list the goal was 5,000 so there are still three holdovers from that that uh those nine that need stitches Ooh. so um i'm gonna spin the wheel and whatever comes up i am going to put the number of stitches in that it needs to get its goal so if i spin shores of hawk run hollow I'm going to be stitching something like 2,700 stitches on that thing before Ooh. I can spin again. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's my plan. Okay. So that's like, I know that you follow Sammy's categories. Are you going to be doing those as well or just 1,000% arbitrary? Uh, we were given the choice this month uh, for August that you could do the categories or you could do a completely arbitrary okay thing. i still i still have a goal i have to set a goal that mm -hmm. i'm going to reach so 10 million and I will still stitches do, i still will do my full coverage stitching mm -hmm. um 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that sounds like a good plan. Okay. Okay. Um, for me, I am almost caught up to the um, starts that I had planned up to this point. Um, I'm now in the Christmas in July portion. <laughs> so I'm warning you that um, next filming there's going to be Christmas. Um, so my goal is always to, I'm trying to get caught up at least uh, with the, the, big, the big patterns um, and get those all started. Um, and then slot in the littles as I can. And I'm also trying to, um, I would like to, well, I'm just gonna keep on going with temperature quilt. Um, I'm looking at it over across there and I have one, two, three, four, five days left in May's column. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and 11 days left in June's column October November December January February March April May oh April I'm I would like to finish April and May <laughs> okay. on that <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say um I'm trying to get to uh yeah and uh, and then I also have the two um like the reflections of Canada and flag day those two starts need um, a further chunk of time to be an official start. Um, and then I will move on to actual new starts, so. Okay. Yeah, I need to put another hour's worth in Reflection of Canada and another hour and a half in um, in Flag Day. And uh, then they will be taken off the um, snap and the nerge and we'll move on. Okay. So that's the plan. We'll see. All right. Sounds so. good. Mm hmm. So I think that's it for me. I think we've, I think we've said a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we've said enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I hope everybody has a good stitching two weeks. Mm hmm. And thanks for, thanks for watching. Mm hmm. Uh, Absolutely. We appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget the giveaway. And um, thanks for um, spending part of your day with us. Yes. All right. And we will see you in two weeks. Bye. All right. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.